You know, this petition to advocate or to uh, boycott Mulan, Allison, is gaining steam and continues to gain steam today. How big of a problem does Disney have on their hands here? Yeah, they have a big problem because they're a company that I actually talk about of having a stellar reputation in handling PR crises to the T. Uh, the problem is, is that the executives haven't really said anything about this. As you mentioned, um, there's thanks in the credits for this movie. So they've had some issues for a while now. And when things go to social media, uh, people take notice of it. And, and as you mentioned, people are tired really of seeing celebrities and athletes um, just not do what they're supposed to do, which is play the game or to, or act yeah john you know um there is you know people notice this when they, i guess a lot of people read the credits because this is how this came up there was a security agency in the xinjiang region of china um that's basically kind of a sh force of the chinese communist party they have been sanctioned um by the state department so you know how did disney miss this well i kind of have a different take on this I, I think this is um, uh, in the business that we are in, we're very sensitive to this. And I don't think that people who are struggling are really giving a dawn about uh, these, uh, this thing that the woke crowd uh, is in fact. Um, so, John, uh, let me spotting. stop you there. You don't think it's a big deal that China has concentration camps and that American corporations are benefiting I, from it. I, no, no, no. I'm saying that the American public at this particular point in time, they're, they're just too filled with a lot of stuff coming across their desks. And they're more worried about feeding their families and paying the rent than they are about the, what's going on in China with of all people and of all corporations disney so i really don't see this as a problem uh, as a problem a problem for uh uh disney i think it's more uh something that we have to be uh sensitive to uh if and when when dealing with this on a on a more woke level I don't see this having traction in terms of uh, the general public. They, they in fact, want to uh, get over a lot of things. This is not something that they really want to deal with. Allison, a lot of people also call out the hypocrisy here for, um, you know, the, the emphasis on the Black Lives Matter movement while, you know, the NBA and Disney seem to turn their, you know, heads towards what's happening in China. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we saw what happened a while ago with the NBA. And look, I, it comes down to, you know, I do agree with John a little bit as far as people just want to put food on the table and focus on their families. But we're in a different world than we were in just, you know, five, six years ago. And anything that happens, especially on social media, when it comes to issues, whether it's Black Lives Matter or what's happening in China, people do take notice. And they, as you mentioned, call for a boycott Milan. They, they try and boycott everything. So whether or not that's really going to affect the sales, but look, we, the ratings are down for the NBA. Whether that is because of what happened, uh, what's going on with China and the NBA or what's going on with players not wanting to, to partake in a game, uh, instead of actually trying to fix the situation and use their money and power and influence to to help those who who need help instead of just saying i'm just not going to play a game all right we're done, we're done. i'm gonna have to cut you off because we are out of time unfortunately we got to run our thanks to allison maloney and john tentillo the good news is there's another brand power segment next wednesday we'll see you both then